Go to Account on Patient Settings to review the different settings related to on patient or patient portal. You can upload a profile photo here, as well as a business logo, which will both be visible to your patients. Set the default duration for appointments. If you would like to allow for patients to pay for their appointments via on patient, you can review these different settings. We partner with Stripe for patient payments, so you can either talk to your implementation specialist or contact our support team for more information about setting up Stripe. Make sure as you're adjusting the different settings to click Update on Patient Settings before moving to the next tab. There are also various communication settings to review. If you would like to allow for patients to send and receive HIPAA compliant direct messages from on patient, check off this box. You can also check off this box if you would like to allow for patients to review their clinical notes and medical summary in on patient. If you check off this box, it will automatically send patient statements to on patient. The last setting will automatically display lab results on onpatient.com. If you prefer to review lab results before sharing them with your patient, I recommend unchecking this box and then you can directly send lab results to your patient. You can also send out a mass invite to all of your patients, telling them about OnPatient and inviting them to connect with you on OnPatient.com by clicking this button. To customize the check-in workflow, go to Clinical, OnPatient Forms. On this screen, you can select any of these sections that you would like to be required, as well as hide any of the sections that you do not want to include as part of the check-in process for your patients. For example, if you do not take insurance, you can hide these sections so your patient does not have to worry about entering in insurance information. You can also hide any sections that you do not want to include in your check-in workflow. This screen will automatically save as you click Field to Field. You can also reorder these sections by clicking the Reorder Forms button in the top right-hand corner and then dragging and dropping sections to the order that you prefer.